this example talks about needing to take a picture um, of cheerleaders for the eagle. How many different ways can three cheerleaders be chosen and lined up for the picture? Now, the reason why this falls under permutation is because, you know, this sentence right here, they tell us, Sue, Betsy, then Mary is a different picture than Betsy, Mary, and Sue, even though that's the same three people in the picture. So the order matters. This is a permutation. Um, tomorrow we will talk about combinations where order does not matter. So you're going to see a lot of examples where you have to figure out, does the order actually matter for what we're doing? Now, because the order matters, we're going to do this permutation formula, NPR. So N is... How many are we picking from? And we have eight cheerleaders, so we're going to pick, we have eight cheerleaders, and this R value is, well, how many are we picking for our example? We want three cheerleaders in the picture. So we have eight, we're going to pick three of them for our picture. So 8P3. And then the way that this works is the formula says we do N factorial over N minus R in parentheses factorial. So I just plug in. It's going to be 8 factorial over 8 minus 3 factorial. In simplifying this, 8 factorial over, now in parentheses, 8 minus 3 is a 5 factorial. Now working with factorials, I actually would just say, well, this is 8 times 7 times 6 times, once I get to the 5, I know it's going to go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So I'm going to stop and say that's 5 factorial because I'm paying attention to the denominator and I see that there's a 5 factorial down here. Now when we have a 5 factorial in the top and in the bottom, this is what will happen. So we actually are just left with 8 times 7 times 6. And 8 times 7 times 6 leaves us 336 different ways we can take this picture. So that's how you do this problem if you are using the permutation formula. Another way, if you want to think about this logically, you could say, well, we're picking three different cheerleaders. So here's my three spots. For the first spot, we haven't picked anybody yet, so there are eight possible cheerleaders that could go there. The second spot, since one is already taken, we only have seven left. In the third spot, we have six left. And if you notice, here's that 8 times 7 times 6, which is what we ended up doing over here. So two ways to think about it. You definitely want to make sure that you can use the permutation formula. Um, but if you prefer to do the problem kind of like this, um, this will work also.